Bubbles got this one all welded up. We got our lifting points welded on. Got three of them. As well as our steering head and our tooth to cut out our trench. This is our steering rod so we can adjust the steering head up and down. And this pipe is just to make it so that the dirt doesn't collapse in on it. Go ahead, Milk Dud, if you want to show them how it works. That's just so we can keep our pipe on grade. And how we tell that is this water level here. We'll shoot some water through our pipe whenever every five feet or so, and that'll tell us if we're on grade. And if we're not, then we just adjust this steering head, obviously, up a little bit or down a little bit as we keep pushing it, and it'll keep us on grade. So look at those nice welds. Bubbles really did a nice job for us. Isn't that right, Bubbles? That's right. So now we just got to do the same thing to that one. And we'll load her all up on the trailer. So, yeah. So we got our pipes all loaded up and augers as well. Got her all chained down, put some blocks on top of the pipes so we didn't crush our steering head rods or pipes. Got a chain going around this, keeping it from sliding out the end. Our boring machine strapped down. Plastic OSB sheeting as well as our one inch steel plate. Our gas line pipes, job box, light tower, as well as our steering rods over here on this side. Looks pretty good. This is the first time we actually done 30 inch casings. We've done a 16 before and a 24, but this is our first time doing 30 inch. And we have two of them to do side by side. So should be interesting. But now all we gotta do is travel about two hours south for this project so yeah should be fun <laughs> You know you're working too far away from home when where you're working at, there's three small towns and you don't know the name of any of them. They got our hole all fixed up for us. It looks pretty good. Got it all bedded up with eights. The soil condition was a little bit sloppy this morning, so now she's looking good. Got it all done with a 240 John Deere excavator. They've also got this T770 skid steer, Bobcat. So we might just be friends after all. But here's the mud conditions that we had this morning. It's not ideal, as you can see. Not gonna lie, guys. I want my joysticks back. 
foot pedals are not for me. But however, the show must go on. We got our plastic OSB sheeting put down for our boring track. Now we just gotta get the track and the boring machine and our one inch steel plate down here. Isn't that right, Bubbles? Milk Dud and Bandit are just over there shoving our 24 inch augers in the pipes. And Buddy Mike's helping get the boring machine off the trailer. you mean? That's in? The pipe's in. Yep. Is it all the way? I think so. Okay, now we just gotta knock the cutter head in. So now set it down. Straight it up, correct? Yep. We're getting our one inch steel plate shoved in the ground that way our boring machine has something to sit push against that way we just don't push up against that bank there that'd be a real problem but other than that we're good to go bubbles got it all welded up for us our pin is in Our pump is still taking on water, as you can see, so that's good. We don't want to have a sloppy hole, but we might find some rainbow roots here after a while. We're not really sure yet. Hopefully we don't. But yeah, this project is about to go underway. Ain't she a beautiful sight?
we just got to put in our steering head rod, our water line, and our gas line pipe to cover the steering head rod. When we get done, this casing should just look like this. The water always seeks its own level. So we've got a steel pipe welded on the casing, and the very end of the casing is the highest point. So we marked where we've started, and as we've been moving, we actually dropped just a little bit, but we can turn that steering head, and as it rises, I fill the system up with water, and it tells me right where the head is. So we actually fell below this line to about here, and once it levels out, we've actually started climbing back up. This here's our last casing we put in for this bore. This is our third one. We have three sticks each. And we hit the hole on the other side, so that's good. Looks like we barely missed the phone line. Decided pulling it with the machine was slower than a seven-year itch, so we decided to yank it with the excavator. It ain't budging hardly. Mm -hmm. well, maybe move a little. Bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's tight. Now that we've got our steering head all the way poked through out this other side of the road, what we got to do now is take our saw and cut it about right here. That way we can save this part of the steering head because that is not cheap. And we can reuse it by welding it on the end of the next 30 inch casing we got to do or whenever we do another one. You see what I'm saying? But yeah. Get to have fun with this beast. We got her all cut. It only took us about four business days, but we got her done. And here's what we're left with. 30 inch pipe. All they gotta do is shove their 24 inch pipe through this and they'll be good to go. But yeah. Hello! Day 17 of tunneling under the Amazon. I finally found the light at the end of the tunnel. As I make my way through the rainforest. How's it going? Swell. Now all we gotta do is set over five feet and board again. So let's see if it goes any faster this time. That was fast, but 
We're still going at her, so let's try that again. Hey, we got her done. Hot dog. We're just getting our final auger taken out. Somebody decided to turn off the light switch and we're not happy, are we? Oh. Not happy. Things went south. Yeah. It's just past beer 30. It's time to go home. Now we just got to load everything up on the trailer. Just get out on out of here. Go home to a nice clean bed. Take a fat nap. But before you go, here's a word from one of our local subscribers. If you want to watch a tiling video, click over here. If you want to watch a septic video, click over there. Thanks for watching. Gotta do some welding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>